Hello. Yay. We're back. Yay. <laughs> uh, Where Madam, were we? Where are we? Where were we? Uh, I'm Adam. I'm Rihanna. If you don't remember, because it's been so long. It's been a while. <laughs> I have to remind you of who your hosts are. This is the Mom and Dad Cuss a Little Podcast, where... Everything's made up. And the points don't matter. No, it's true, though. Yeah, it's all made up. We just up. make no, this shit up as we go. We couldn't make this shit up if we wanted to. We're... I mean, I feel like we make a lot of it up. Not like show stuff, but like parenting stuff. We make a lot of that crap up. Oh, yeah, we're pulling these tips out of our ass. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. <laughs> Anyway. This is not your parents' parenting show. Yeah. Or maybe it is if you had, like, parents like ours. I don't think our parents would listen to this parenting show. Well, not now, but... <laughs> I mean, even Our parents then. are old. Anyway, <laughs> this is the show where we give you our perspective, however twisted it may be, and trust me, it is, on parenting, marriage, all that stuff. Whatever the hell is going on around us. Pretty much. We've got four kids. We're just trying to figure shit out as we go. Yep. Yeah. Without any sugar coating. Yeah. Because no. that's just kind of become our tagline after 28 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Uh, so, w- what have we been up to, dear? <laughs> so, our last show was in May. Yeah. it's It's been, what's that, three Gosh. months? Yeah, about three months. I have to start at the beginning. Like, it's like a social security number. I can't give you, like, the last two digits. I need to start at the beginning. So, yeah. It's been yeah, like, it's like three months. Three months. <laughs> we we took an unannounced impromptu summer break from the show. Yeah. We just took a sabbatical, you know. Yeah. It's, it like was, you do. Like you do. Because, you know, we decided to do this show. You decided that we were going to do this show. And I said, okay. No, let's be um, fair. I started my show. And then my show. It was supposed to be like this show. It was show. supposed to be like this show. <laughs> and it and, wasn't. And when so it then wasn't, I was like, nah, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. You came on a couple of times and then it turned into. Hey, we should do that parenting show together. Anyway. So this show was your idea. That's why I always say this is your show. You're the host of this oh, show. That's my fault we weren't here. Yeah, it's <laughs> your, it, mostly because any given time, I'll, I can just, you know, you say, hey, pull out the stuff. I'll pull out the stuff. <laughs> Not lately. Geez. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> was that TMI for this early in the show? I don't know. Oh, well, welcome to the show, guys. <laughs> This is the shit we talk about. Yep. If Sorry. you haven't, if you're you're just <laughs> starting, if this is your first episode, go back and listen to the first few. Like seriously, you need yeah. to. Uh, I I don't recommend starting here. Stop now. Go back. <laughs> we'll wait. Anyway, we'll wait. Are no, they I'm done? just kidding. Are they done? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now that you listen to all of them, <laughs> um, so we took a sabbatical because. Yeah, we decided to do this show and didn't really, honestly, truly think it through. We both have full-time jobs. I'm going back to school. Um, I started this, you know, workout diet plan that I go, like, every Monday night and every Saturday morning. And, you know, it's getting into our busy season at work for both of us. And we just didn't really think, like, Well, let's be fair. When we started the show, I mean, it's been a year and a half. It has. When but we started, be, it was a lot easier to do. But to be fair, we don't have time, <laughs> really, unless we like literally carve it out of our one day that we have together. Yeah. Because you work nights, I work days, we never see each other. Yeah. And when we do, it's we've got to do this and we've got to do this and we've got to get this and this and this yeah. done. You yeah. know, it's we it's the day that we use to actually do the chores that require two people. Yeah. Like grocery shopping. Grocery shopping, getting house, all like, the household yard errands, yard work, meal prep, things like that. And that kind of takes precedence over a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just been hard to find the time. But I think we found somewhat of a compromise in this little 30, 45 minute span that I have before I go to bed. Yeah. I think um, that's the biggest thing is it <laughs> like, because now school started again. It's, For we, the boys, We, we yeah. skipped the entire summer, guys. But yeah. yeah. So for those of you who do not listen to Adam's show, I was a guest on last week and I described our hectic summer and our 
stressful, stressful, stressful start of back to school. So what had happened was the day before we were leaving for vacation, I get a call from the boys' school and they tell me that they are no longer going to be Montessori. Oh, and by the way, you remember that our principal left. Oh, and by the way, the reason that we're not Montessori is the kindergarten Montessori teacher left. Yeah. Well, we have a kid that was going into the kindergarten Montessori class. We had a kid that went through the kindergarten Montessori class and was supposed to be on the Montessori track. So school's not Montessori anymore. You're just going to be a basic charter school with that same kind of, you know, Montessori theory embedded into what you do, but we can't really be a Montessori. So we're not doing that. It's going to be a traditional school, but we're going to think about Montessori while we're doing it. Yeah. Fuck that. Like I'm not driving 30 minutes for you to do what the school next to the house is doing and has been doing for several years yeah. successfully. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I like, didn't and realize. Successfully, it's like an award winning school. Oh, yeah. Too. They've won a ton of awards. And the first thing you see whenever you go to their website is, you know, how well they did on the AZ merit tests and all these crazy stats and numbers and everything. It's like, all right, cool. Whatevs. You're a top school, which is great, but you have to like, it's like a three-step enrollment process. You have to like apply to apply. Well, you have to like fill out an interest form and get, get told that you're eligible off of the interest form, then fill out an application and be told if you're accepted or waitlisted, waitlisted because of class size, not because of academics. Um, and then you enroll from there. So I was like, okay, well, that seems stressful. And it's the day before we're leaving for vacation. Did I fail to mention that? I think I yeah, mentioned that. I think you mentioned that. <clears throat> and I'm like, you know what? I'll look into this a little bit more when we get back from vacation. Well, then we're driving and it's 19 and a half hours. We counted. I had a little bit of time to think. Just a little, not a, little a whole bit. lot. Yeah. Um, And I was like, you know what? I probably shouldn't wait till we get back from vacation because school starts like two weeks after. Yeah. So we should probably get on that. So here I am in the hotel on my phone trying to fill out these forms for the boys. And then I get to the part where it's, oh, we need you to upload this, 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 and this. All of which are back home in our safe little lockbox. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. But we got our sister to come over, <laughs> get into the lockbox, and send me yeah. pictures of everything. Are so. you just fortunate that, like... She was dog sitting for us. Yeah, because if it was anybody else, there was no way. Yeah, I was like, um, I'm not telling you where my safe is. Yeah, exa exactly. Or the keys for it. <laughs> <laughs> but she was able to send me all the pictures of the documents that we needed. So we got that uploaded. Um, we got the application. To, we had to call the out. other school too and say, "Hey, um, <laughs> we're." No, I didn't do that until we got back. Well, didn't we need, like, transcripts or something? Oh, that's right. Yeah, we had to send, like, transcripts and showing like, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, I had stuff. to get, like, final report cards and stuff. Yeah. Can you tell us why you need these documents? Because um, oh. we're leaving. <laughs> this is a little awkward. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so I did all that, and Damien got accepted, and Charlie got waitlisted because, surprise, surprise, all of fucking third grade in the vicinity is trying to transfer into ACA. Yeah. Gee, I wonder why. Could it be that they all got the same phone call? Yeah. <sighs> but anyway, so Damien got accepted for kindergarten, which is amazing. I'm so excited. And Charlie was waitlisted. I was like, well, crap. You know, hopefully he'll get in before school starts. So since the old school started first, we were looking at having to have Charlie go to one school and Damien go to the other school. Yeah. And that's pretty much what happened. Charlie didn't get in before old school started. Yeah, before he had to. So. But it was like two days. No, it was like four, maybe oh, five. Oh, yeah, because he started school. He started on Thursday, yeah. and then they called me on Tuesday to tell me that he could go to the new school on Thursday. Yeah. So. So it was like exactly a week. But they're both in the same school now. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to deal with two separate release yeah. times, two separate arrival times. That or... was that was the hardest thing for those first few days. Yeah, I mean, I guess the first two were, where Charlie was by was just in school by himself. But once Damien started school, they got tricky. Yeah, no, and it, it was a pain in the ass too. Like it was just it was annoying. Mm -hmm. If you've ever had to deal with going to two separate schools, you know what I mean. Yeah. But 
hopefully we won't have to deal with that again until high school. <laughs> so, yeah. and we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But yeah. so that was July. <laughs> yeah, that was, I mean, that was the, that was the, basically the, the gist of the school situation. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, we had our vacation in July as well and the boys had a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, kind of standard, you know, for us, we, for the most part, our vacations are relatively the same thing. Yeah. We go back, we they visit do, But family. they do get more and more successful as the years go by. Yeah, we're getting you know, more practice at it. <laughs> we're getting better at it. And this year, we had a little bit more in the budget that we were able to spend and kind of splurge a little and yeah. got to stay at some nice hotels and, you know, go to some fun attractions, yeah. kid-friendly stuff. So, I mean, they had a lot of fun. And next year, we're actually looking at being able to stay in one city for a lot longer. Um, so we'll hopefully be able to do a lot more. Yeah. I mean, because that's always been kind of the hardest part of our trip back was because... The split time. The split time, because my dad and my brother live in one place, and your parents live in another place, and so we were always having to split kind of where we're going to be. And it was a lot of it was mostly because hanging out with my brother, because... He has a daughter who's in the same age group as our boys, and they're, like, she was born while they still lived out here, so they were all really close. <laughs> and, I mean, she, she... calls them her boy cousins, yeah. and they call her the talking Shelby, because we have a Shelby the turtle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so that's how they distinguish, you know, Auntie Heather has a talking Shelby. Yeah. <laughs> Now, one day if the turtle starts talking, it's going to complicate things. It it will. It'll. I don't know what Bug's going to call everybody then, but for now, there's our Shelby and talking Shelby. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. But they are relocating, mm -hmm. like, at the end of the month to... They're moving back to Corpus, so I think it's public knowledge by now. But they're moving back, and so it's going to mean, hey, we'll... Like we honestly, and you know, we don't spend a lot of time with my dad while we're there. We usually spend yeah. most of my time with them with like doing, mostly doing, doing stuff, stuff, doing all the kids stuff. So all the kids get to spend time together. Yeah. Because they do miss each other since like they aren't living in the same area anymore. Yeah. And so we usually have like a lunch day or like a dinner, like yeah. Peter Piper or your, something. Do your something with my dad. stepmom usually takes us out for dinner or something. Yeah, we do something like that, but it's like maybe one day, maybe a lunch with my parents, yeah. and that's it. So I'm like... Well, eh. to be fair, your stepmom works. Yeah. And I don't. your dad doesn't like to host people over at the house. Yeah. And especially like little ones running yeah. around their living room that's mostly glass and tile yeah. and not kid-friendly. Yeah, my, um, my stepmom's being collecting uh what's it crystals the oh really yeah the swarovski swarovski crystals and no the ones from dublin i don't remember oh i don't know yeah the, 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 the but, yeah like but they she, have this like nice it. glass display case i'm like fuck don't look at anything like just yeah. just sit and breathe don't breathe, don't breathe. just just sit yeah. <laughs> but don't touch the elephants please don't touch the elephants yeah but yeah of course being kids they don't do that so yeah. It makes visiting their house harder. Yeah. But, you know, next year it'll be really nice getting to be in one place for a lot longer and getting to do stuff. Yeah. So, it'll be fun. Yeah. But... We get to... But, um, oh, for the most part, we do a lot of the same things just because there are some things the boys just like to do. Yeah. Like, we go, go to, to Splash... The, we we like always the splash go to the aquarium. Yeah, we always go to the aquarium. And this year was kind of fun, though, because they had the, they finally opened up that rainforest expansion thing. That, and that was awesome. It that was, was really, really cool. it was really cool. But the new you know, tanks I'm, and all that were I'm awesome. I'm so upset because there were so many animals that we missed. Like I didn't see the sloth. I didn't see their big iguana. I yeah, I didn't see them either. They have them there. Have, I don't I know where they were, but they we were saw there. A sh like shit ton of sharks. I know that much. Oh all, gosh, that massive shark tank they had in the, yeah. the the Amazon exhibit thing. What's really cool is this trip helped us discover a talent. In one of the boys. Yeah. Apparently, Damien is a budding photographer. and Budding shit. He was damn good. <laughs> and I, I mean, he got like... Thrown away. He got like pictures from the dolphin show with dolphins in mid-flight. Yeah. Like, these are professional looking pictures. And the, none of them are fuzzy. None of them are out of focus. You know, he like over airbrushed everybody's face. Yeah. Which I find hilarious. But... 
He was like these framing are like, shots. Yeah. Well. These are like professional looking pictures of the aquarium. And so we're pretty sure that we're going to have to get him a camera. Yeah. <laughs> but, it kind of goes without saying at this point. But, you know, it. He, they, they all had a lot of fun. What was really crazy was right before vacation, I had finished my um, classes for the summer because I took summer classes and I was stupid and took three at a time. Which was another reason we weren't doing the podcast. Because yeah, that was that was kind of a. I think that was probably that was the like biggest the reason. The reason because I was stupid and took three classes yeah. at one time. You over had the so summer. you had so much class overload. I mean, you were burnt on between class and boys home all the time from the summer and mm-hmm. getting re- especially getting ready for vacation because you had vacation prep. Plus, I mean, we still have like we've mentioned before, like you're um, on Sundays and it was like you're. Uh, weekly food prep stuff yeah my meal prep it's like the meal prep stuff takes a lot of time then you had like homework and class and lessons and stuff to do and the boys deciding all summer they weren't going to go to bed when they fucking were supposed to so you know like for, ever like ever and you know you still got to get up and go to work on monday so there were some days where you know we wouldn't be able to record until Close to eleven at night, and then after all is said and done, that just doesn't fly That's with you. That's not going to happen. That's not going to work with you having to get up in the morning. Mm-mm. So, yeah, it it really did keep us. So basically, the show has turned into a list of excuses as to why we were gone. Yeah. But well, to be fair, they're valid excuses they're for valid why we were excuses. gone. And I did get an A in all my classes, so yeah. yes, it was worth it. Yeah, <laughs> I do think uh, you know if we had really pushed recording during that period, it would have. Kind of bitten us in the ass somewhere. It would, My grades. Well, yeah, it would, have, it would have affected your grades. I mean, for that matter, don't you start class, your next wave of classes in like another week? Nope. I nope. start them on Thursday. Oh, fun. <laughs> it's almost. It, fuck, yeah, I knew. It's like, I just remember you saying, I was like, oh, yeah, I got like two more weeks. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> I was like, you got like all, two more days. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah. What Freedom. are you? gone it's gone <laughs> it's gone speaking of and yeah it just reminds me because you were totally going off that one meme from that mom like the first day of kindergarten <laughs> <laughs> the first day of kindergarten first the first day of every other school year <laughs> he doesn't even know where the bathroom is so i'm just gonna go get him yeah <laughs> so, so great just, <laughs> because that was you oh yeah that was totally that was definitely you. me and i told bug you know, this was Damien going to kindergarten. And Bug tells me, well, Mom, next year, when I go to school, are you going to take me to school? And I was like, oh, Buggy, when you go to school, I'm going to take like a week off. <laughs> You're going to have like postpartum depression. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's my baby Bug. Yeah. You're going to have like serious actual depression when he goes to school. I probably will. And have, like a mental breakdown. I probably will. And it's, you know, I don't know why because I'm at work all day. It doesn't affect me, but. Yeah, I don't get that. Like you really, it doesn't change buggy. the time you spend with them. <laughs> no, it's just the fact that they're in school. They're in school. And it's, for me, it's, I mean, you know, I've said before. <laughs> for you, it's bliss. It's Well, no, it's really fucking with my day. <laughs> Why? Because I've developed certain routines with the boys, and these routines are based <laughs> around each of the boys being present and doing particular things. And then you start subtracting boys, <laughs> and then I don't have somebody around to do a thing. And oh, way you have to make their lunch. <laughs> no, it oh, there's that. But um, <laughs> like, how dare you be asked to feed your children? <laughs> they have become very self. Uh, reliant at this point but the ones that were self-relying on the smaller ones are no longer around so uh, i could you know we could get up at nap time and the older boys would make their lunch and they would make their lunch for the little boys and i wouldn't have to do shit (laughs) it it, it was nice i when i finally got to that point where the older boys were like yeah i'll make bug sandwich and and like one would make one for bug one would make one for sam and we're like yeah Great, I don't have to make shit. Gee, like, you have to feed your kids now. <laughs> well, I I still have to get up and like get their drinks and like serve them. Like, but they'd make like their sandwiches and I'd get yeah. the, their. They their do that for me on the things. weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's lazy now? What the fuck? Hey. <laughs> I mean, they're at least at least I'm using them to feed themselves. You're making them feed you. <laughs> oh no, I don't make them feed me. I make oh, okay. them feed themselves. Oh okay. <laughs> and occasionally, I make Charlie make dinner too. <laughs> I was like, so like you're making them make you a fucking sandwich? No. Right? 
<laughs> you wouldn't eat a sandwich. I can't eat a sandwich. No, not you can't. Not anymore. I went gluten free, y'all. And no, I'm not one of those like, oh my god, gluten free. Oh my like, god, this bread is you know, gross. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it because I want to be trendy, and I'm not doing it because I have. <laughs> huh. And I'm not doing it because I have celiacs. I'm doing it because I noticed that I have a sensitivity to it with the new dose on my medicine for my thyroid. Um, so decided to try gluten free and see if it made any difference. Mm. And I mean, so far it really has. I've I've been very impressed. I really didn't think that it was gonna be anything. Yeah. I thought, you know, I'll try it, but I'm probably gonna feel the exact same and just be pissed that I can't have bread. Yeah, no. um, <laughs> I am pissed that I can't have bread, but I feel amazing. Yeah, it's at least like, you know, the, yeah, you can't have bread, you can't have pizza and all these things that are wonderful, but... Honestly, I'm okay with not having pizza because of how sick it's made me feel the past few times I've had yeah. it, but God, I miss bread. Yeah, but it's, but at the same time, before your pills, bread. you would inhale pizza like the boys and I inhale pizza. This is true. You know, we were having two 16-inch pizzas and there was maybe enough pizza left for one of us to have lunch the next this day. This is true. And now I can make, you could barely handle a slice of pizza. I can't. Without it making you sick. Yeah. And you'd be like crippled, like, you know, stomach churning, cramping. It was cramping. like cramps. Bad. Oh, God. It was the worst. And just, yeah. You, I mean, you're in quite a bit of agony from a slice of pizza where, you know, you before... If I gave you two pieces of pizza, you're like, what? Why are you where's being so? Rest? Where's the rest? You know? <laughs> yeah. You're like the boys, I give them two pieces of pizza, and they're like, can I have more? No, you're gonna explode. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no. Yeah. No. I Save mean, save some for the rest of the house. Jeez. I mean, I, I, I don't know what made me think of it as you know maybe this is a gluten sensitivity, but. I did like a little bit of research on it and, and things that I found said that, yes, it's possible. So I decided to just try it. I was going to give it, you know, this, the month of August to just try it and see yeah. how I felt. And let me tell you so far, you know, usually I get at least a migraine a week, if not two. Yeah. A week. This is day 15 of gluten free and I haven't had a single one. Yeah. So there's that. Um, I haven't had any stomach pains, cramps, bloating, any of that since since the switch. Yeah. Whereas before, after almost every meal, I was in complete agony. Yeah, because, <laughs> because unfortunately you guys for your eat diet, nothing I, but carbs. Yeah, we live on carbs. I mean, it's not just me, but I mean, it was real. A lot of pasta, a lot of breads. Mm -hmm. Um, pizza. pizza. I mean, you think we probably have some form of pasta three nights a week. Yeah. Whether it's mac breaded and cheese, chicken. breaded chicken. To be fair, my breaded chicken is it's chicken parm, so it's it's, yeah. it's parmesan, but it's, but, but yeah, it's, it's like breaded chicken. But yeah, so much everything we had was breaded or bread something. Yeah. You know, chicken with stuffing. You know, like, yeah. You know. I mean, even something as simple as mac and cheese. Yeah. You know, between the pasta and the sauce, it's, yeah. you know. Because so scratch mac and cheese has flour as a base, and so right. again, there's gluten in the mac and cheese. Well, besides the pasta itself. But right. I couldn't even do, like, a gluten-free pasta for you for my mac and cheese because the sauce has gluten in it, yeah. theoretically. So I decided to go gluten-free, and like I said, I have felt wonderful. What I really like about it is that I'm not missing out except for bread. Yeah. I love bread. I could just eat a whole, just put my face in bread. It's just amazing. Like, who doesn't just love bread? Just like a fresh loaf of <laughs> bread, yeah. And I mean, we have a bread machine for that purpose. Yeah. We would bake bread and we fucking bake a whole thing of like a two pound loaf of bread and just fucking eat it. Yeah. Straight up, eat Split that shit. Bread. Just go. But I mean, date night was fine. Yeah, I had salad, I had soup, and I had a steak. Yeah, it was fine. I went out to eat for lunch, and we went to Olive Garden of all places. You know, great. Thanks yeah. for considering the gluten sensitive person, guys. Um, but they have a soup. 
that is gluten free. They have salad. It was fine. You, you know, just don't get the you know crazy. Just you don't know, get pasta. You don't get the pasta. And you don't get the, the crazy crack addict breadsticks. They were so good, and everybody was eating them. And I was like, I hate you all. Fuck you guys. <laughs> you gonna know, wop that around me a little more, asshole? I know, right? Like, watch oh, me these take are a, so good. Watch me take that breadstick from you and slap you in the face with it. <laughs> but you know, I have several boxes now of gluten-free pasta yes. so i can have pasta yes. um my meal prep has consisted of nachos and tacos yeah because we kind of discovered that if you're doing a anything resembling authentic mexican food it's already gluten-free it's already gluten-free <laughs> corn tortillas have no yeah. gluten um so yeah i mean i'm not really missing out on much i can still have ice cream i can still have dr pepper yeah as long as I can have Dr. Pepper, I don't really care what kind of diet you put me on. Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> like, There's a handful of ice of bluebell flavors you can't have just because they yeah. have like chunks of like cookie dough. You can't have cookie dough, but well, you can have chocolate chips. Use, so. Apparently they use like flour in their chocolate as a thickener, Yeah, but they don't use it in their vanilla. So I can have like chocolate chip. Yeah. And you can have chocolate chip and you, you can still have your Millennium Crunch. Yeah. So, so I mean, it, I'm totally fine with it. I'm not missing out. Yeah. I'm not depriving myself. And I feel amazing. And I've lost four pounds. So, yay. <laughs> and this is totally not like us, like, hardcore like, no, ad- I'm not mar- being advertising like, or saying, oh, you should go gluten free. No. You should go glutton free. Yeah, totally. Go, don't go, eat. Don't be a glutton. But, Unless you're a glutton for punishment, then go right ahead. Um, where's the whip sound effect? I I don't have that one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great right there. Right. <laughs> um, but, but no, I mean, uh, it. it's don't do it because you want to be hip and trendy. Or because you think it's some miracle diet because it's not for most people cutting out gluten is bad for you. It is something that your body actually toward unless you actually have a sensitivity. And for the most part, your sensitivity is a side effect of your medication. Yeah. Because before you were on these meds, you did not have this problem. Like yeah, I said, you no, were scarfing fine. pizza and whole loaves of bread with everybody else in the house. Yeah. But after they upped my dosage for my thyroid meds, I started noticing that, yeah. I mean, I would eat and I was just in agony. Yeah. So, I mean, it works for me. It's yeah. it's what's good for me. Yeah. So do what's good for you. Yeah. But I love it. I have no problems. This is an easier diet to be on than other things. Uh-huh. And again, because you're doing it for a medical reason. But... Because you are doing it for like a drug induced sensitivity, <laughs> not because you have celiacs. Yeah. And I think that's so important here because if you caved and ate a breadstick at Olive Garden, it's not going to kill you. Exactly. Like, it I'll, might be a it little might uncomfortable. It might hurt my stomach. It might be a little uncomfortable compared to everything else. Yeah. But well, I mean, like tonight, you guys got Little Caesars and you got cheesy bread, and, and you oh my God. Totally snaked some of my cheesy bread. I had to. Because their it's Italian cheesy bread, cheesy bread is bomb. But, yeah. So, yeah, that's all well and good. Yeah. We had a couple of birthdays since the last show. Sammy is now two. Oh, my gosh. And as of today, actually, Charlie is eight. As of today, Charlie is eight. God, we're old. We have an eight-year-old. He's in third grade. Yeah, I know. We've got two kids in school. We're old. You're old. You've got, a, you've got two kids in school, too. Thank you. Karen, I'm only 25. You got to stop saying that. You've got an eight year old now. So eventually, the math is going to get, you know, uh, real wonky. The math is going to start getting this statutory my, real this soon. Is, this is my teenager. Oh, and how old are you, ma'am? Oh, I'm 25. Wow. Huh. So that's <laughs> how it is in your family. <laughs> oh, so, that's awkward. Um,. What's that math right now? 17? Yeah, right about now. (laughs) That's where we're at right now. You've got... In Texas, that's legal. That's all I can say. (laughs) We got married. That's awful. (laughs) But, yeah. We're old. Yep, you are. (laughs) Oh, excuse me, guys. Yeah, she... It's like All the time. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. It's so late. 10 o'clock. Yeah, that's you. That's what you said. I had a 10-hour day today. I I've a got a nine-hour day tomorrow. Yeah, I know. I've been I've been on those for a couple of weeks now, though. You said it's been our busy time at work. You've had Same. mandatory overtime. I've been just I've been these like 
Last, Technically, you've had mandatory I, overtime. Yeah, I was like, I don't have a choice. It's uh, <laughs> here's what the I was like blue collar thing. Here's what the work is. You got to do the work before you can go. So <laughs> if it takes until four o'clock to do the work, you got to stay until four o'clock. Well, in my case, that also means I have a, a 45 minute commute home after getting back. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, the work took until four. Uh, then I got to drive back to the shop and then do the paperwork and then drive home and somewhere around. And oh yeah. Hey, can you stop and pick up stickers and, uh, <laughs> baby wipes and, uh, milk or whatever? Stop in, at Walmart and grab something on, on the way home. Yeah. And somewhere around five ish in the morning, <laughs> I'm rolling in. Which is when I'm waking up. And then, yeah. And then at six, we have to get up to get the boys ready for school because the new school starts an hour earlier than the old school. Well, yes, but not on Mondays. Not on Mondays. On Mondays, they, they don't start, uh, they until, don't start 8 until 845. Which is nice. Yeah. Which was kind of nice today, but it felt weird. Oh, I'm sure. It felt so weird. But and me see, telling what's the boys, really nice like, we're not about- leaving until after eight. What? <laughs> I told them that this morning because they got up at six and they were getting dressed. I was like, guys, go back to bed. Like, that's very, no, enjoy they, this. No, keep them in the routine. I'm going to go back to bed. <laughs> but I mean, it, it'll be nice at least on Mondays and Tuesdays with you having to take the boys for now. Yeah, because you, you've had you've been having to go to work early. So you haven't. Yeah. Been well, I mean, on Mondays, you're going to have to take them anyway. But yeah. on Tuesdays, you know. We had planned for me to drop the boys off because it is so early. They're technically on one of my potential routes in, yeah. so I could drop them off. So we were planning, you know, Tuesday through Friday, I would take the boys to school. Well, yeah. I've got mandatory overtime on Tuesdays now, and so you have to take them in. But you don't work Monday night, so it's not as big of a deal. Yeah. But it does – It's. Still been kind of nice, and I was kind of calculating it out and realized that it's actually also going to save us quite a bit of gas with you taking the boys in in the mornings because... Because I'm already going that way. Yeah, it's like you're already making... It's like you have your drive to work gas. Well, I had my, you know, in the van, which uses more gas, commute all the way out to the other, to the old school, which is further away and yeah. back. Well, now I don't have to do that. Just outright, I don't have to do that. And even if I'm taking them in in the morning, I'm not going as far. Yeah. So, it's kind of nice. But Poor the, van's not going to get used. The ever. van's not. Yeah, the van's <laughs> not. And already during this, I mean, it's I would always. That's why I call it the magic school bus because that's basically all it is. It's 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 just for me to take the boys to and from school. And I mean, half the time we're not even using it because we're doing the uh, the like the click list. the click list the order ahead our groceries. We aren't even fucking going to the grocery store anymore. So nice. I think we if just started. Live, if you live out in. Phoenix or in Arizona, and you have a fries near you that does click list. Oh God, do it! It's or, amazing. Yeah, or even like even if you do like Walmart or whatever, if you do the like the order grocery ahead, grocery pickup, grocery is pickup is awesome. Freaking amazing! Not delivery. Screw delivery. It's just expensive. But but you no, know, you, you want to pay for just, that? Go ahead. But you just you you build your grocery list online. Click add to cart. Now they have an option that lets you pay online, which is lovely. Yeah. You show up, you park in the spot, you tell them, hey, I'm here. And they say, all right, here's your shit. Load they bring your you? shit out for you. And then they load it up for you. You don't have to get out of your car. They give you a list and your receipt and all this stuff. And you just sit there and kick back while they, you know, load your shit up for and you. And then 10 minutes later, you have $200 worth of groceries that you didn't have to drag four boys through the store for with one kicking and screaming because you won't give him his phone. One that won't fucking walk on the side of the cart instead of in front of the fucking cart or I'm going to run you over, damn it. And one that's crying because they're hungry, but they're not really hungry because they're three and they just ate, but they're hungry. <laughs> Tell them how you really feel. <laughs> But all that aside, <laughs> we I love, love shopping. I love shopping. Uh, that's why I do the grocery shopping the rest of the time. I hate. <laughs> I hate going to the store oh so much. I don't know if you could tell, yeah. but I hate it so much. And that's just the regular grocery store. That, let's, <laughs> you wanna, let's let's talk about Walmart for a no, minute. <laughs> no, we will not talk about Walmart. 
<laughs> you never set foot in a Walmart I unless refuse. you absolutely have to. I flat out refuse. I will not go anywhere near a Walmart. If we have to go, you go. Yeah, pretty much. The only time you ever go into Walmart is if we have to, like, collectively take all the boys in for, like, school clothes shopping and stuff. Like, oh, we need to get pants. We need to get shoes. Mostly shoes and socks. Because yeah. we even ordered their pants online this yep, year. Yep, nope, I did Old Navy. <laughs> yeah, he ordered their pants so you didn't have to go into Walmart to buy them. Refuse. School supplies, you did the damn, like, Walmart pickup thing, too. Yep. Sure did. Didn't even fucking go inside for fucking school hey, supplies. Walmart. I will not do it. I refuse. I won't go. Where I'm usually there every couple of times a week because of we need one thing or another, but... I won't go. Yeah. I won't do it. You can't make me. Yeah. <laughs> you can't pay me enough to go inside a Walmart. I, for, I forget what it was that you went to Walmart to get for me because I was sick or I was hurt or for some reason, and... I forget exactly what it was, but holy shit, did you hold that over my head for a while. <laughs> like, I went to Walmart for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds I like me. I didn't ask you to. I said I'd take care of it. <laughs> well, I went. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you fucking did that yourself. <laughs> I don't remember you volunteered what it... to have shit over me. That's what you I did. I don't remember what it was. I try to block out painful memories. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you're anywhere where that's an option, fucking do it. Oh, it's it's bliss. It's just yeah. bliss. And I think still, uh, Fluffy, calm no, down. And again, I wish they were paying us for this, but we yeah, they're not paying us for this. But, but we recommend doing it, especially when you've got so many kids, because it does take that stress away. But I still think my favorite feature of the whole click list and the pre-ordering our groceries thing, mm -hmm. besides the fact like the interface, you're always talking about how it's like it saves the stuff that you order. Yeah, it saves your past purchases. And I mean, our our yeah. list goes back months. Yeah. It goes back to before vacation. But if you say, hey, I need more sliced cheese, it has the sliced cheese you always buy there. It has the milk you always buy there. Yeah. These are the cereals you always... So you don't have to look for it. It's like, here's the shit you always get. Click, 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 reorder this, 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 and this. Yeah. And it's there. But I still think my favorite thing is the their policy on if we don't have it. They oh, substitute, yeah, they'll substitute it for the next nearest thing, but they charge you the price you were quoted for it. So if you ordered, you know, house brown, uh, house brand pretzels and they had the substitute rolled gold that cost a dollar more for the bag, you're paying the, the house brand price. Yeah. Like you're paying the dollar 99 bag, not the 325 bag. Right. And Which if you would have gone into the store yourself, tough shit, you you're would paying have, for the expensive pretzels. Yeah, you would have had to eat that cost and yeah. just fucking. They've got to eat the cost because that's what they quoted you. Yep. It's like, hey, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, so, we're, we've honestly saved a good chunk of money. And it, it takes Well, a, we've saved money because we don't have that impulse buying yeah, we're not when impulse you're in the middle buying. of the aisle. Yeah. Because, you know, we'll make our shopping list and I'll build it online. And, okay, do we need anything else? Nope. All right. That's yeah. it. We're we, done. We buy what we need. We don't sit there and see something. Ooh, look at that. Buy. Yeah. So we're I not totally do that shit when I'm in. If I ha there are times I have to go into the store and I will totally sit there and snake a fistful of, of Everything. a new flavor of, of a thing. Well, I'm sorry, but... I, I don't. You're a fat kid. Yeah, but I don't <laughs> like. I don't tell you to get like my energy drinks or my tea and things like. Well, I also don't say my tea because I fucked that up a couple of times. Yeah. But like, I, I'm particular about my tea. I only like the Lipton bottles of either of the peach or I because I fucked up one time and I grabbed a case of mango because I thought it was the peach. Because I'm sorry, peaches and mangoes. Because apparently peaches and mangoes peaches look Peaches and mangoes look alike on those labels. Screw you. Uh, but <laughs> they, You won't. It, yeah. But we... <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll eat, drink those. But I we ordered it twice. We ordered it. And both times, they didn't have it there. And they substituted something else. And it tasted like ass. And I gave it all to the boys. <laughs> so I've just kind of resigned myself to either I'm going to go pick it up at like, you know, four in the morning at Walmart when I've got a you know Walmart two item errand to run or, you know, do it like Wix shopping or something like that. Yeah. Or like I get like the my energy drinks, like my my kickstarts or my my big like tall Mountain Dew, those new like Mountain Dew craft flavors because I like those. Those are yummy. Those but, are weird. Yeah. But I know. anyway. 
But yeah, those little things that I actually have to buy in store. But other than yeah. that, yeah. But it It's it's amazing. I fucking love it. Yeah. I don't anticipate us stopping using it, like ever. Yeah. We don't it's not even at the store by us. We actually have no. to go to a store to a location that's a little further away. It's like that's how much we like this service. It's not that much further away, but yeah. It's like maybe five minutes. Yeah, it's like Whereas, five minutes. Whereas, I mean, there is one literally right outside our neighborhood. You like turn left and it's right there. Yeah. But, <laughs> but. It is less than a mile between our front door through the neighborhood out into the street to park in front of that store. Yeah. Just because we also get gas there. So I see it on the odometer when I drive home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's less than a mile. And the other one is like five minutes away. Yeah. But Ooh, totally. Five minutes totally freaking worth it yeah i love it so that's how we've been for the yeah. past few months yeah. just kind of setting into a new routine and new grooves of stuff yeah so bear with us while we work out our scheduling issues and hopefully we'll get back on a more regular track with this yeah because it's, it's it's fun and i do like you know, us getting to sit down and, and chat and share our weird shit. Just kind of ramble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I do want to share. We don't have any, like, shit we shouldn't have to say in this house. We haven't been of a mind to be record keeping those things, keeping, like, tabs on those things and writing them down. Or, yeah. Like, tech, usually we're like, you won't believe what your son just said. And, like, texting them to each other or posting it on the Facebook page. Yeah. Things like that. We haven't had much of that lately because we've been so go, go, go yeah. with, you know, everything changing and vacations and all that stuff. So we will get back on track with that. But one thing that I do want to do is give a shout out um, to one of our listeners who sent me a video message. I mean, it kind of wasn't a video message, but it kind of was. Uh, it was a video of his wall. It was more like. like an audio <laughs> video yeah. message. It's like, he's talking to you, but the camera's pointed at the wall. Well, he said he didn't have a shirt on, and I appreciate, thank you so much for that. I, I'm deeply grateful. Um, but Gareth from, what was the Gareth's show? Gareth's Random Ramblings. Sent me a video message, and I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for reaching out. I love it when listeners comment and give feedback and say that they like the show. Hell, I love it when they say they don't like the show because then I can make fun of them. Um, but <laughs> what's that? There's no, there's uh, no accounting for taste. There's well, I was saying, uh, good, all press is good press, or uh, you know, something. No it's such not thing really, as bad publicity. Yeah, there's that. It's like, like I always say, it's like if you, you know, I don't care if you love us or hate us, but tell us because I'd love to know. You're just reaching out. You have strong feelings one way or another. Great. Do you have mediocre feelings? <laughs> I don't care. You can give shit about your mediocre feelings. I want to, like, yeah, it's not the feelings. <laughs> Only the strong feelings. Well, mediocre feelings don't, leave, don't email people. They don't, they true. don't leave, you know, wall video feedback on, on Twitter. <laughs> so, <laughs> you don't get crazy Australians and I'm sorry. He's a Kiwi. He's I from mean, New Zealand. I mean, are any Australians like, I don't think I, that's a thing. I listen to a lot of podcasts from Australians, and at this point, I'm pretty sure they're all fucking nuts. They live in Australia. Well, yeah. They, Have yeah. you seen the shit that lives in Australia with them? Like, yeah, that's a th their country is trying to kill them. Yeah. The fact that they don't like, you know, they, that Australia hasn't developed these like mass transit systems to get the fuck away from the fact that the entire continent is trying to destroy them. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Y'all are crazy. Yeah. But yeah, he's from, he's technically, well, he's in Australia, but he's technically from New Zealand. So, so I'm in Arizona, but I'm technically from Texas. Yeah, but you don't call a, a you don't call a Kiwi an Aussie. They get really pissed about that. Yeah. I'm going to call him Gareth. Okay. Hi, Gareth. <laughs> P.S. Gareth is a really cool name. Like, yeah. sounds like I am. Kind of. Gareth. Sir Gareth of fuck. Wherever. Anyway. <laughs> so feel free everybody else to reach out and be as cool as gareth and get a shout out on our show yeah because that's totally worth something because we totally just like vamped for like how the fuck long about one little message from twitter oh, right <laughs> because you had a fan Yay. from oddly from my last episode where you where you were on 
He said that we were funny, but I think we were just us. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. He does the same shit. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, yep. Maybe he just has low standards. I don't know. (laughs) But either way. I say the same thing about you, but, you know. It's not far from me. Wow. (laughs) <laughs> that was no, dude. No, honey, you're wonderful. You're now fucking is... shoot me in the face, why don't you? Goddamn. Hey, okay. <laughs> I love you. That's, that's what's called fishing for compliments. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't bait that up very well. <laughs> but dear, I guess it's about time. It's to, bedtime. It's bedtime for you, anyway. I get to stay up and do the technical shit. But yeah, I'm just the talent. Yeah, you're just the talent. I'm 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 the behind the scenes guy. But that being said, do you have any final thoughts for us this evening? Besides, you hate fucking Walmart. I thought. That- I guess so. Thank you. But it's <laughs> <laughs> until next time. Hopefully, not very long. Oh yeah, I guess I should do the spiel, huh? Yeah, there's. I like forget. I forget the spiel. Um, so if you want to get a hold of us. You can find us on Facebook at Mom and Dad Cuss. We do not have a Twitter for the show because okay. we don't. Um, we're okay with that. We're okay, you're okay with that. Yeah, it's great for network. But you can so email us at momanddadcuss at gmail.com. You should probably put that email back on my phone. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, me too. For all I know, we've got like 20 mail, like tons and tons of stuff from people. We have so much fan mail that we're not checking. I know. You should really check that. <laughs> I really think you should. said that last time too, like three months ago. Um, I'm going to do that right now. Yeah. But uh, if you really like us or hate us, because we totally, you know, left that open to you, uh, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or... We're on no, and uh, Stitcher and Spreaker or lots of other places. Wherever you listen to the show, um, you know, remember to subscribe because that's awesome, and you won't have to keep looking for it; it'll just show up automatically. But leave a review because we want to know. We want to know what you think. Again, good or bad, it's it's totally up to you. I just want to hear it because hey, you know, thoughts. Ugh. But um, sorry, I'm setting up our email oh, so I can st- check. Oh uh, yeah, she's over there actually, you know, putting the email back so she can check it. Um, but until next time, whatever that may be, uh, soon, soon it should be. Yeah, we should be back to the routine. But I've been Adam. I'm always Rihanna. I have been. I am, and I will continue to be Rihanna. Sure, let's okay. go with that. All right. All right. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you.